the sweet smell of Volvo gravy in the morning. What's up guys, it's Drifts and Lifts here. All right, so today's episode, we got some fun stuff. We are back at uh, Mission Raceway for another drift event. So we got a bunch of Volvos here today. So we got gold car, we got my good friend Rylan in his 16 valve 740. We got my girlfriend Sarah in her 740. And uh, we got Oliver in his 940 here. So uh, cool stuff is gonna happen today, guys. Sarah actually did her first ever drift event la uh, two weekends ago. It was really, really wet out when we did that drift event. Absolutely drenched out here. So uh, she did quite well, I'm not gonna lie. She had the sweeper corner pretty dialed and she was actually starting to get transfers near the end of the day. So really proud of her, honestly. But uh, today's a whole nother thing because it's gonna be in the dry. You know, it's the same concept, but uh, you need to use a lot more throttle. Everything's a little more high speed. So it'll take a bit of getting used to, but um, yeah. So quick little walk around of her car here, guys. Uh, we've been building this car up over the last like three or four months for Sarah. I actually haven't showed this car on the channel, but uh, it's pretty sweet. It's a 1989 740. It's got a manual transmission, factory M47. It's got BC racing coilovers. We did a 391 welded diff swap in it. So a little more peppy. These things came with a 331. So it was quite long from the factory. Um, it's also got a Sparco racing seat that I welded on some factory brackets for her. Uh, it's got an OMP steering wheel. The engine is completely stock. We did a little bit of weight reduction. I think it's got about 250 pounds removed from it. No, no sunroof. Um, yeah, really basic just setup. It doesn't have angle mods, but like I said, it's got BC racing coilovers. So uh, it actually handles quite well. It's not a bad car. So I'm stoked to see Sarah do her thing today and see how she can uh, kind of figure out how to drift in the drive. Okay, so Sarah, last event, you did pretty well in the rain. You had it pretty dialed, would you say, on the sweeper corner? Yeah, Yeah. And I was learning how to manage at then. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys a couple quick clips because I didn't actually make a whole video for that event, but I'll show you guys a couple quick clips of Sarah drifting in the rain right here. So she had the sweeper pretty dialed. Are you a little bit nervous about the dry today? Yeah, pretty nervous. I think you're gonna be fine. The only difference is way more throttle and uh, it's, things are gonna be a little bit faster, but. I filled up my gas tank. Nice, Yeah. good stuff. So, so I'm gonna hop in the car with Sarah and uh, maybe do like a little bit of lessons. Um, but honestly, last time, I think, I think you did like a hundred laps here. Like the event went for like eight hours and literally Sarah. I that day. Yeah, she didn't, I, I she didn't, didn't eat. eat. Sarah was literally in the driver's seat for like six hours straight, constant hot lapping. It was pretty awesome. And honestly guys, if you're just starting out drifting, the best thing you can do is just get a ton of seat time. So yeah, I'm really excited to see uh, what she can do today. Yeah, I had to uh, kick you out of my car lap time. Had to do a little more weight reduction. I got the gold car guys, this thing's rad. I'm super excited to drive this car. Um, this is honestly like one of the best, just solid, reliable, simple seat time cars that I've ever built. I'm gonna be putting these tires on the front of Sarah's car because right now she has winter tires and winter tires in the dry really don't get a lot of grip. So me and Sarah are gonna be running the same tire. She's got a set on here. I've got a set on here. I don't think they're gonna be very grippy, but they should be a little better than what I had before. And uh, yeah, it's just some triangle 185. So it's a pretty skinny tire, 60 profile. Yada, 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 nothing to it. But anyways guys, so today we're just gonna huck the GoPro in the car, go do some laps. I'll chuck the GoPro in Sarah's car after and we can kind of see how she's doing throughout the day. Yeah, just a classic drifts and lifts video at the track. So I hope you guys like it. All right guys, so first lap of the day, let's see how she goes.
see if I can actually dial it this time. guys so I hucked the new center lines with uh, these tires on the front of Sarah's car the tires don't feel too bad honestly uh, testing them out on the gold car they felt like they're not a performance tire but they are like fairly new and they're not dry rod and stuff so they should do the job I'm gonna do a lap in Sarah's car so uh, we can just make sure this thing drifts good and then uh, then we'll let Sarah take the wheel and see what she can do all right guys we're gonna do one little lap on the uh, on the short track here It's cracking, big guy. Not much, dude. Right on. Just unlimited layout? Yeah, you wanna keep going? There's like nobody here, dude. Yeah, I know. That last tire pile right at the end there, you just fucking flip the hairpin and come back and keep fucking sick. going. Sick. That's so sick. Yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, All right, get the fuck out of here. All right, guys, so this is a continuous layout, so you can actually just keep sliding. This thing's fun to drive. It's like not bad at all. All right guys, so uh, this is unfortunately kind of what happens to most Volvos eventually that start doing this kind of stuff. Maybe I'll just go cut some quarters off a car. <laughs> you could a, do that. There's one that's- you just chop uh, the whole rear end off yeah, and just weld it back on. Just the outside. I mean, this isn't even that bad, but- Your okay. tires are done. That's probably why you hit it. Oh yeah. Cause yeah. they're so slippery. Yeah. It was like ice and I yeah. just went, oh shit. Yeah. Did you? So a couple laps in Sarah's car. Um, this thing actually rips really good. Like I said though, my only concern is the rear tires have a ton of grip and uh, the fronts don't quite have as much grip as the rear. So I would like to put something a little more slippery on the back or we might just head to the, uh, to the gas station and fill the rears up to like 55 PSI or 60 pounds or something. I think that'll do the trip. It's drifts and clips. And we're here again on Mission Raceway having a great time. We got Rylan here who crashed his car and we got Oliver here who smells like farts. Let's have a great time. Let's go, let's get it. All right guys, so we got Sarah behind the wheel here. Um, we're gonna get her to try like a circle drift donut to start out. So we got this nice little open section here. There you go. 
<laughs> we gotta put different tires on this thing. Fuck. It's getting wheel hot. We need to do bushings in it. Good job, damn. She's definitely getting the hang of it. So if Sarah wanted to go to a sideshow, she could go to a sideshow, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding, sideshows are lame. Sarah's totally getting the hang of it, guys. Um, yeah, this is awesome. She just can't get enough of this. So Sarah unfortunately popped a tire on that last run that she did. Yeah, it looks like this tire de-beaded. I don't think it actually ran down to the wires. I think it just like 
didn't have enough pressure in it or something but so that's pretty much a wrap up of today guys we got about like half an hour left and actually they just shut down the back track so we only have uh this track going right now um but yeah sarah did a pretty damn good job i gotta say um you feel a little more confident today sarah yeah. once once you got enough laps in i jammed my thumb in the steering wheel did you really yeah i said i felt confident i was gonna link it felt good until my tire popped good job Sparkle seat looks good on you. Yeah, wish I had a bride seat. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, so gold car is good. Um, I, actually, I actually did a little wall tap the one run. I might have got on film, maybe not, probably not. Nice little scuff just on the bumper. This was from last event, so uh, that wasn't from today, but... Yeah, the gold car is a good one, guys. Uh, I'm gonna be, you know, slowly modifying this. For now, it's probably gonna stay in the same, uh, just exactly how it is right now until we can get the new motor setup going for it. So, as you guys know, I'm building a cool NA motor. So if you guys wanna help me get the NA motor build done on this car sooner, head over to the Drifts and Lifts store and cop some of our new merchandise that we got. So uh, we actually revamped the old school beer designs and we added some cool features to them and they look really sick now. We're also doing a patch style shirt as well as if you want the logo big on the front, you can do that too. Go check out the store. If you guys want to cop some merch, it would help a lot and uh, we really appreciate the support. So I think for the last half an hour here, I might go, uh, I might go film my other Volvo friends, see what they're up to. Like the mad flames now, dude. <laughs> you should probably stop before shit pops. <laughs> yeah, <literally. laughs> oh, no. oh, you gave the wall a bumper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, 1JZ, no shit. 1JZ, though. All right, so we're just getting packed up to leave here. I figured I would mention something before we get going here. Uh, so when you're drifting a Volvo, sometimes it's not the best idea to run the tires all the way down to the cords uh, because once the cords start flapping around, what you'll find is that they wrap around here. And a lot of the times I've actually wrapped them around the brake cable so bad that it ripped the brake, uh, the brake line, sorry. So you don't want to be doing that. Um, it's best to, because uh, that'll kind of ruin your drifting day. So if I was going to recommend something, I would kind of check your tires. Once you feel like the tires are starting to lose traction and get near the, the bottom of the tire, make sure you don't keep going and tangle up the tire wires all around here. Because like I said, you will rip this brake line here. So, but yeah. Volvo I just bought. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much a wrap up. So, uh, Sarah killed it today. Um, everybody say congratulations, Sarah, in the comments because uh, pretty cool that my girlfriend is out here drifting with us in a Volvo of her own that we modified. So, uh, yeah, gold car is awesome. And, uh, like I said, guys, hit up the Drifts and Lift store, check out the merch, um, big support for the channel, and I really wanna get this NA build going on this thing, so I need a little more funds to do that. Gotta buy pistons and rods for the NA build, and then we can get going with assembly, so. Like and subscribe for loose Volvo buttholes. Peace out. <laughs>